Hey, so I was asked to make a video about how I deal with materials in Blender and taking them over to Unity. The actual ask was, how do you take this information here and bring it into Unity? And the short answer for that is I have no idea. I don't do it that way. Everyone I've asked doesn't really have a clue on how to do it. I'm sure that there's a way to do it, but um, I don't know it. Basically, since I know I'm going to be going to Unity and doing my the final work for the project in Unity, um, I don't really actually care that much about what I'm doing in Blender in terms of shaders. Like basically, like I'm usually just like I throw lights around all over the place just because it'll look good and it's like nice to look at when I'm modeling. I throw on textures for the main reason of making sure that my UVs are set right and everything looks good so when I when I do make my materials in Unity I know it's gonna like look the way I want it to look and so um, I honestly don't really focus too much on this information here and I make sure that I have the right textures I want to make the materials in Unity and not in Blender so basically my process is export this as an FPX or just bring in the blend file like normal and then recreate the materials in Unity, which is what I'll do. I will export this as an FPX and then create my materials. I'll do like one material. It's super simple. I'm sure you understand the concept by me just explaining it, but I will do it. Go to file, export, FPX. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm in the folder that I wanna be in. I'm just gonna export this as cave room and then I'm gonna press export FBX. I have a Unity project already open and I imported my textures already and created some materials, which I'll show you in a second. So let's find the FBX file from our folder, bring it in. And then if I hit this, and then I can bring this into here. Now you can see that um, there are lights all over the place. And the reason why it's so overexposed, if you don't know, is because the Unity translates this information into intensity power, so 100 intensity in Unity is uh, pretty pretty bright. So I'm just going to click this and I'm going to hit uh, unchecked import lights, press apply, and that will fix that. And now we can see everything. And so you can see that there are materials on some things and that's because blender or like when you import or when you export the fbx and i'm sure there's like some fbx settings that does this it does its best to translate the information over already sometimes it doesn't get it right like you can see there's it, like there's materials on everything but it's not looking like how we want it to look um so let's just add some materials so like i said i basically just recreate the materials using the shaders i want in unity and then i bring it in um so i already created the wood floor material i am um, i've been using autodesk interactive shader a lot just because it has metallic and roughness maps it's way easier to use than the standard so i just grab that and i'm just throwing it on there so yeah my process is super simple I will, let's create the lights one, because I feel like these would look pretty good, better than those two lights. And I'm just gonna switch it to the shader I've been using, bring the diffuse over, bring the normals over. Uh, let's bring the emissive map over, roughness, and then metallics. And then I can just throw that on. And yeah, that's like I said, I just I recreate all the, my materials and manually put it on the objects. And that's how I deal with it. And I think that's how most people deal with it. So um, I hope this answers the question for everyone who was curious on how I did it. And um, yeah, bye.